Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I will explain how to install Arduino in Linux. However, before I start I have to mention the following. The main reason for creating this video tutorial comes from the fact that in my opinion the installation process is far from trivial and people who are not familiar with Linux and with Linux command line might experience issues. And consequently, to resolve these issues I created this video tutorial. The second motivation comes from the fact that I will be using Arduino together with Linux and consequently I need to install Arduino on my Linux machine. Also it took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this free video tutorial and more than 300 video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel and consequently I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot! Ok let's start. The first step is to download Arduino. You need to go to this website and over here you have two options. The first option is to download Arduino 2 point something and this is a newer version and also you have the older version starting with 1 point something. In this video tutorial I will explain how to install this newer version. Let's download the program. Over here you have two options. You have this option and this option. In this video tutorial I will be using the first option. Consequently click over here on app image 64 bits. And you can down donate money if you want here. However for the time being I will just click on download. And the download process will start. You can see it over here. The download process is completed. However where is our file? Well our file is downloaded in the download folder. To access the download folder you need to click over here and you need to find the download folder. And here is the file. Now I will change the file name. I will call the file simply like this Arduino 20 app image. And be careful over here that this extension is app image. And let's rename this file. Next, we will copy this file to another folder since I don't want to install and execute this file for my downloads folder. To do that, open the terminal window. Here it is. And let's see where we are. We are in the home folder and the username is Alexander. Okay, let's create a new folder and let's call this folder Arduino. You can call this folder as you wish. Okay, let's see it, it's over here. Now, let's copy the file from our downloads folder to our Arduino folder. And we can do that by typing cp, till the sign is the symbol for home or shortcut for home. Here is the path to the origin file and here is the destination. Okay, cool. Let's see our Arduino folder and let's see the file. Here it is. Here is our file. The main issue over here is that we cannot execute this file since we don't have the permission to execute. And you can see it over here that there is not a symbol X or the letter X. Consequently, we need to set the execution rights such that we can execute this file. There are two ways to do that. I will explain both ways. The first way is to click on files to locate our Arduino folder, then you need to click here, do the right click and click on properties. Over here under permissions you need to click allow executing files as program. Ok, cool. Close this window, go back to the terminal and let's see the file again. Aha! Uh -huh. We can see x, x and x here and here is our file. We can see that the file became green. This means that we can execute the file. Here is another way to set the permission rights and I will do it from command line. However, I will go back to my file and I will unclick on permissions. Let's go back here and let's see what's happening. OK, we can see that the permission is removed. We cannot execute this file. To set the permissions from the command line, we'll simply type this command chmode plus x, plus x means that we are adding the executable permission and we specify the name of the file. Good. Let's see the result. 
Perfect. The file is green. This means that we can execute it. Let's now launch the file. There are two ways to do that. We can do it from terminal by simply typing dot, the symbol, and the name of the file. Let's see the result. Okay, over here you will see the terminal, something is happening, and voila! Here is our Arduino environment. Okay, let's see what's happening over here. Under Tools, we don't see any port over here. This is because we didn't attach an Arduino to our USB port. So let's do that. Now I attach my Arduino to the, to the port and let's see what has, what's happening. Okay, you can see my port. Here it is. It automatically recognizes that the board is Arduino Uno. Let's click over here. And over here we need to select the proper board. The board is Arduino Uno. Perfect. Now, let's do the following test. This is simply an empty sketch. And if everything is set properly, we will be able to upload this sketch. Let's try to do that. We need to click on basically tools. We don't need to do that anymore. Actually, we need to click simply on upload. So let's upload and let's see what's happening. Uh-huh. Cannot open this device. Permission denied. Failed uploading, upload error, exit status. Uh-huh. So there are some permission issues over here and we need to resolve them. To resolve these issues, first close the environment and then go back to the terminal and type sudo user mode, add these two letters, dial out and the name of the user. The name of the user is my name Alexander, however in your case this should be your name or the name that you set as the user. Okay. Over here, I need to enter my passport, password, and here it is. That's the first step. The second step is to execute this command. This command will give us the permission to read and write to our serial port, that is, to this device over here. Let's do that. Perfect. Now, you need to restart your operating system or you need to simply log out and log in. Let's do that. I logged out and I logged in again. Let's start Arduino environment again. Open the terminal. Let's see where we are. Let's see all the folders. Here's our Arduino folder. Go to the Arduino folder and then let's execute the file. You need to type this. Okay, let's repeat the complete procedure. First of all, set the port, then set the board. Here it is. Then let's try to upload our sketch. Perfect! Done uploading. No errors. Now let us double check this and let us write a little bit more complex code such that we can verify the complete procedure. Over here in my setup function I will type serial.begin and I will set the baud rate that will be standard 9600. And over here in the loop function I will type serial.println and I want to print hello world. This is the standard message for people who are learning programming. Okay, so what will happen over here? We will upload this sketch and on the serial monitor we will print hello world. And this will verify that Arduino is properly working. Let's do that. Make sure that your port is selected, that your board is selected. Let's verify the code, make sure that everything is okay. And let's upload the code and let's see the result. Okay, done uploading, nothing is happening. However, to see something we need to click on Tools and we need to open our Serial Monitor. And over here on Serial Monitor you can see Hello World, Hello World, Hello World being executed. Perfect. Everything works as expected.
Okay, but we are still not done. There is one crucial step that we need to perform. Namely, we would like to click here and we would like to type Arduino over here in order to be able to start our Arduino. I don't want to go every time to my terminal window and in the terminal window to go to Arduino folder and to type dot execute Arduino file. I want to create a shortcut over here. So let's see how to do that. To create the shortcut we will perform the following steps. First, we will start our G editor. And over here we will create a simple script. Here is the script. First we specify that this is the desktop entry. We specify the type. This type is application. Name is irre relevant. You can specify this name as you wish. And here is a very important parameter that's basically the path to our executable file. Let's verify this path. To verify the path, open a new terminal window and over, type, over here type pwd. Here's basically the path home, username, in my case Alexander, and Arduino. Let's see our file. Here it is. And this is the file. Consequently, make sure that this path is exactly the path given over here and specify the file. The file name is correct. Perfect. The next crucial step is to save this file. However, we need to save this file in a specific folder. So click on save and let's determine the folder. Click on home. Over here you should find the dot local folder. This dot means that this folder is hidden. It might happen that you might see something like this if you click on home. For example, some people might see this and they cannot see dot local. To see dot local, do the right click and click on over here, show hidden files. And if you scroll up, you will see the folder dot local. Click on dot local, click on share, click on applications. And over here, you need to save the file. I will call this file arduino.desktop. Basically, this will tell to our Linux, that is to our Ubuntu, that this is the shortcut for the file. Let's save it. And immediately after you save it, you can see that this is actually a script. Let's verify this. Close this file, click over here and type Arduino, and voila, here it is. Here is our Arduino. Let's click over here and the app should start. It's going to take some time because remember, there's a script running behind the scenes. Here it is. Let's now verify again that we can upload the sketch. Click on tools. Click on tools. Make sure that the proper board is being selected. Arduino Uno. Get the port over here. Make sure that the port is selected. And after that, you can simply upload your code. Let's upload the code and let's see the result. Perfect. Everything works as expected. 